we'll be discussing cargo loads. It's the second part uh, of those the three uh, feature presentations. Uh, the previous one was Argo CD. So if you don't check those, please, because uh, some of those knowledge from previous presentation will be used here. And yeah, I guess we can start. Uh, so Argo loads, how it will look like. So our agenda will be, I will introduce how it's, what is it. Uh, we'll, we will compare it to native Kubernetes uh, deployments. I uh, will show how to install those. It has those CLI, very useful one. Uh, also, we'll uh, have some part of those traffic management. <clears throat> and then we'll show how those specification of rollouts uh, look like. Then I will show those analytics templates. That's the most powerful thing from rollouts. Uh, we'll show how those metrics are working, uh, some experiments there. And then we'll move to our demo. Uh, it will consist of these two parts, one for blue-green and one for uh, Canada deployments. So let's start. What is Argo Loads? So mainly, uh, Argo Loads is part of those Argo project family. Uh, so we already discussed about Argo CD itself. Now, uh, part of Argo Loads. Uh, what Argo Loads do? Uh, it is like expanding uh, the deployments of uh, Kubernetes. It's adding some uh, new ways of deployments. Also, it has ability to roll back automatically, and it has the most powerful ability, in my opinion, is to track like external metrics, external providers, to check what is happening with our application outside of our application itself. Uh, so, compared to native uh, deployments. Uh, it has some advanced deployment strategies, uh, like I will show you those uh, blue and green and uh, Canary deployments. Uh, they have different like parts, they have different abilities. Uh, and again, it's like expanding of not replacing directly, but expanding. Uh, rollouts itself is based by Kubernetes itself. So if something goes wrong, uh, Argo rollouts has ability to go back to one version. And again, your application will be stable. Uh, about uh, traffic control, uh, this is something new uh, that Kubernetes is luck right now. Uh, so you have control over your uh, traffic and you can like send, for example, 10% of your uh, users to fresh application to measure time, to measure error rates, uh, like different, uh, to have those statistics and error rates again. Uh, to like fully understand what is happening with your application, are you ready to deployment into production and so on? Uh, like mentioned already, automatic rollbacks uh, has integrations with monitoring tools. Uh, in this demo, I will show how to escape data from uh, Prometheus, but it has other uh, providers like New Relic, like uh, Dapodoc, and so on. Uh, custom automation. Yes, this is like expanding of uh, those uh, analytics templates I will show you shortly. And like already mentioned, expanding functionality. This one, so installation. Uh, I will now guide you how to install those right now uh, in terms of like showing, because it's fairly simple. Uh, it can be installed in different ways. In this, uh, for myself, I installed it with Helm. As you can see in Helm, it like, just defined a chart uh, where to find those rollouts and some values and the full values are like perfectly fine. Uh, there is no need to add some dependencies there. Argo rollouts itself doesn't need to have like external databases. Uh, it doesn't even uh, need uh, Argo CD to work properly. And as you can see here, uh, those resources uh, are pretty uh, like minimal. So I guess you can install it almost anywhere. Uh, and a few words about specs. Uh, so, uh, first of all, rollout is like a Kubernetes manifest in the end, and uh, it's mostly the same as uh, ordinary, ordinary deployments. Uh, so, the only thing you need to change to enable uh, Argo rollouts is like obviously install it, and then you need to change uh, API, uh, API version and kind of your deployments to this one. So kind will be rolled out and it will be perfectly fine. So 
the this only two fields you need to change to enable reloads and it will be working and another point like another field is that a uh, adding here called strategy and uh, that's the way you are like defining your uh, strategy it can be a blue green or it can be a canary we'll show it shortly and about scaling uh, because like we are replacing deployments with rollouts uh, we need to update our scaling methods for VPA and you can see it uh, support target reference and for HPA it's uh, supporting scaling target ref. so your automatic the scaling will be perfectly fine with reloads. Uh, this one uh, will scale a reload that has been promoted, not the one like in blue state, just to mention here. And another mention the words uh, to check is uh, you have ability to set reload uh, like not replacing your deployments, but extending it, uh, meaning that your reload will target references your uh, deployment. In your deployment, you are saying replica set to zero. And uh, the only thing rollout will be doing is just checking manifest of deployments. And here, like controlling it, basically. Uh, so <clears throat> about traffic management, like this is the main part, uh, in my opinion, of uh, rollouts, uh, meaning um, we have uh, sorry we... sorry i i uh, just want to ask uh, uh, we have uh, some um, like question little question in our chat about previous uh, part of oh yeah sorry uh, i didn't check uh it matter if we have more replicas uh can you actually uh explain those questions sorry i i saw that you on the Manifest you have four replicas on the rollout template. It matters if we have like more or less. Uh, so these replicas will be replacing replicas in your deployments. Uh, you obviously, if you want to have some replicas running, you need to have more than one. But in general, it's depend of your system. You can have one for small systems. You can have one thousand for really big systems. Oh, so it depends on actually the the workload. Yes, yes. So uh, it's uh, uh, this one, these replicas is not for, uh, one moment, I will show. These replicas here in the loads is replicas of your applications. Uh, the actual replica of controller set inside of controller and here uh, inside of rollouts, you have one replica and it's perfectly fine even for big scale systems. Understand, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I will uh, check chat uh, a bit more. Uh, so maybe, uh, yes, uh, traffic management. So uh, Argo Louds has integrations with uh, different providers uh, of traffic management, let's say so, different ingresses. Uh, in this demo, I will show you the most basic one, but worth mention, uh, if you have like Istio, like server mesh, if you have some and no external load balancers. You have ability to shape your traffic and uh, it's actually pretty powerful and uh, you have pretty fine control there. Uh, again, it's outside of those scope of this presentation, but worth to mention, you have ability to send different methods. You have ability to send different mm, like traffic, uh, different ways of traffic, different types of traffic to different applications those new applications that you are like scaling up. Uh, so the most basic one, for example, you, I want to send 10% of my usage uh, to 10% of my actual traffic to uh, my application and measure uh, how it behave, uh, those latency, those error rates. Uh, if something goes badly, I will scale down those. I will delete those new replicas and uh, deployment will fail, but users will not see it. So like small percent of the usage users will saw those issues. Uh, you have ability to uh, redirect the traffic, uh, meaning to mirror those traffic. So those will be uh, sending into your application and the mirror of traffic will be sending into new application. Uh, obviously your application should handle those, should understand what state it is and uh, should understand that this traffic is new, uh, it's inside of blue. Uh, pods and it shouldn't be uh, right down into 
database, for example. Uh, yeah, but the most basic one, uh, the one I will show you here, we will not send any traffic uh, to our application. Uh, it will be a separate domain, separate ingress, uh, meaning we can uh, isolate new, uh, new pods in some isolated domain inside of isolated uh, ingress and uh, run some smoke tests, some performance tests, uh, ask our QA team to check how it's working and so on. Uh, so the minimal most setup I was like mentioned previously is like this one. So we can one ingress, we can actually extend those, but uh, to say of simplicity, I have one ingress and two simple services. And those two simple services, uh, one is for our production, our actual stable, and one for our preview. And as you can see, I have different domains. Uh, and those different domains are sending uh, traffic into those different set of pods. Uh, uh, Argo itself, when you like promoting code, will switch those labels, meaning uh, after promotion, uh, those preview service and those stable service will be uh, sending everything into one single pod or one single uh, rep, uh, set of pods. Uh, but during deployments, those will be separated. Uh, so now about analytics, uh, analysis templates. There's the most powerful thing uh, of those rollouts, meaning when we are like deploying something, uh, we want during those deployment phases, we want to run some tests. It can be anything you want. It can be uh, some like performance tests, some load tests. Uh, basically, you are able to run any pod with any configuration there and check those exit process. So you should uh, define your uh, performance test in this phase that if everything is good, uh, then your uh, exit code of the pod should be like zero. If something goes badly, should be non-zero. And depend on those information, deployment will be successful or failed. Uh, about metrics, you have ability to check different metrics providers, like I mentioned previously. And in this demo, it will be like, we will check uh, Prometheus. So we will run uh, some performance tests. If it is okay, then we move on and check some Prometheus metrics uh, for some predefined Prometheus queries. Latency, error rate, you, you mentioned, it can be anything you want. Uh, again, it can be uh, defined and integrated into like some uh, IPM, like performance metrics from New Relic from something similar, uh, or you can scrape actually basically anything you want uh, about rollout uh, and uh, what it will look like. So we have rollout. Uh, analytics template is separate uh, manifest. Uh, you have ability to reuse your analytics template across cluster. Uh, you will not use it, but worth mentioning. So you can define one analytics template and uh, use it uh, everywhere. Uh, yeah, uh, go ahead, uh, ask your questions. Uh, yeah, I have a question re regarding the rollout. You mentioned there is the two rollout strategies existing. I'm curious if there is the needs, for example, can the user create their own CRDs with the custom logics of rollouts, for example, like around the sound rollouts if needed or something like that? Actually, I believe yes, if you are like willing to. Uh, they have ability to uh, create plugins. I will not show it right now. Uh, but again, if you are able to create some CRDs, I believe you can. Uh, I didn't check it for myself. Uh, and uh, moreover, those uh, different strategies, blue, green, and rollout, in the end, they are pretty similar. I will show you uh, because you have pretty uh, fine control there. And uh, the more interesting question will be not creating new strategy, but creating those analytics template that will extend those strategies. So in your like your in your hands, you have a pretty powerful tool, and you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, Again, if you are able to run pod and track those uh, exit code of those pod, you are able to create anything you want. I even don't know uh, what the example here. So I know you have some pretty powerful uh, system and you're deploying for some EOT. Then you are able to mimic 
some EOT functions and send uh, some traffic from this EOT inside of analytics template and check those inside of on your relic to understand what is happening there. So I believe uh, you should be more fo focused not by creating a uh, new uh, strategy, but creating those fine-tuned analytics templates. I hope it's answer your question. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So during deployments, uh, by using those templates, analytics template, Argo is creating analytics run. It's actually, it can be pod uh, if you are like uh, creating some job or it can be some metrics. And inside of analytics run, it's automatically generated. You can check what is happening, uh, how uh, analytics is working, what results are there. And about a few words about experiment, uh, because we are able to uh, create new pods and those pods will be like kind of ephemeral. We don't uh, send any traffic there. We can create some experiments uh, that are for ourselves. Uh, it will be not inside of uh, deployment process. I mean, uh, you can create those experiments by yourself. There is no need to update your prod manifest. Uh, I mean, meaning you want to deploy something and uh, just to check how it's behave. So it kind of deployment, but not actually, but not really. It's uh, ephemeral de uh, the deployments. Uh, in this uh, demo, we will not use it, but uh, you can use it if needed. Uh, so how metrics provide a looking? Uh, so we have ability to integrate this from a terrace, that dot new relic, uh, web, it's like simple uh, CURL request for your application uh, with ability to get those uh, JSON paths from it. Uh, and uh, for example, CloudWatch. Again, you can create your own if needed with custom plugins, or it can be a Kubernetes job that will run uh, and some code that you run inside of those uh, pods with ability to integrate with uh, other different tools. And basic analytics template will look like this one. So this template is like uh, getting success rate from Prometheus. Uh, we have those queries uh, defined. Those queries are actually me measuring uh, the percentage of uh, 500 uh, 400 and 500 to the uh, all of our uh, traffic. And if those uh, percentage is more than 5%, five, 5%, then we will consider this is a fail. And yeah, we will move on. And we will actually uh, fail our de deployment. <clears throat> Sorry, one moment. No, oh, no, no. Not good as well. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, about experiment. Uh, small, uh, small presentation. How experiment is uh, looking like. Uh, but I already uh, mentioned those. So let's move on and uh, let's start start with blue green. So basically, blue green is extending uh, allowed. Uh, Rollout manifest and uh, blue green has less abilities with canary. I will show it shortly uh, because uh, blue green has ability to run analytics only before traffic switch and only after traffic switch. You cannot uh, find control what is happening during deployment. Uh, and uh, let's go to the actual demo we have. So. Uh, I hope you can see everything clear. I have some application inside of our inside of uh, actual Helm. Uh, this application is deployed inside of Argo CD, and uh, it's pretty simple one. So we have some uh, some deployments happening here, uh, and we extend those with rollout, and we extend those rollout with blueprint in this example. So what is happening here? We have two services, active service and previous service. If you will go into our services, you can see that, yeah, this one and this one, one preview and one not. And we have some pre-promotion analysis and post-promotion analysis. Uh, those templates will look like this. 
So before before we promote, before actual traffic will be switched, uh, we will run those benchmark. We will run uh, performance uh, error rate and latency. So benchmark this one, uh, it's actually uh, copy paste from their documentation from Lao's documentation. They are using a tool uh, called Worker, I believe, Worker, that are like sending requests to our application. I'm oh, sorry, uh, sending a request to our application, and it's basically load testing. It has the ability to get uh, results in a low script and uh, we can parse those results and uh, those results will be like in JSON format. In the end, uh, this one report Lua is scripts that are generating reports. And uh, inside of the JSON file, we can check error rate. And if it is like more than five uh, error rate, uh, less than 5%, percent uh, Yeah, if actually this one, I will not commit this one. Then we will move on. <laughs> to be honest, I don't remember why it's like error rate. Error rate, yeah, less than 5%. Yeah, right, I'm sorry. Uh, so another part will be, uh, this is like benchmark. And uh, during the benchmark, we are like creating a lot of requests for applications. Because uh, of this, we are able to get some metrics from uh, Prometheus. And you will use those uh, to from uh, Prometheus queries uh, to get error rate and get latency. Uh, I will show it shortly, but it has uh, one interesting stuff uh, because it is preview, uh, uh, preview ingress, meaning no one will go into this uh, domain yet, meaning there were no any metrics there. And uh, the issue here, so uh, if no metrics here, uh, Prometheus will uh, return our like zero, actually will be not a number metric. And as default, uh, those analytics template uh, has a fail condition and success condition. And uh, if I will leave it like this one, fail condition, and we will get some non-results, it will be as success, it will move on. Why so? Actually, it's logical, but uh, not clear. So we are defining success condition and fail condition. Uh, in success condition, uh, this one should be true, like results should be less than 5%. Uh, during none, we will have this situation. It will look like this one. So none, it's not less than 5%. I don't know how it's comparing, but still. And it will produce false meaning it will fail. Uh, we can go this file condition and this one will be run. This will be false, but this is file condition and Argo is care only to go on uh, only about success condition. Meaning uh, even if this file condition is like executed, it will go on and saying that, you know what, everything is good. I um, only care about success condition. Yeah, just she mentioned here. Uh, so we will this one and let's move on for our actual deployments. So I have application. I have this application in Argo CD. I have those uh, rollout, as you can see, this one. Uh, if you want, if we can check those manifest, how it's looking. And we have blue green right now. Why so? So this one, hem files, this is the blue green. And these two domains. So they generate the systems and previous, they generate the null systems. <laughs> By the way, uh, it should be the application should be understand, uh, should know that it uh, can be running in two different domains to make this uh, working as it should. So let's start actual deployment. Oh yeah, and uh, what I will be using. So here is like, uh, obviously Vim. Uh, here is uh, rollout uh, CLI. Uh, so rollout has a dashboard UI, but it's not very useful. And it actually has integrations with the uh, 
RBST, I will show it shortly. Right looking. Uh, so, uh, rollout has a CLI, a rollout. So, this one, it's integrated inside of your KubeKTL. Uh, so, let's watch how it's work. <clears throat> so, I have uh, four uh, pods. Uh, everything is updated, everything is available. You can see here, everything is ready. We have a stable. Meaning that we are like using stable. Stable is the uh, same as the tag. So I believe we can try to deploy something. So let's start with a simulation. So uh, we have GitOps here, meaning we can hit commit. Uh, so let's push it. Then let's upload uh, this in. Let's sync those application. And let's watch how it's working right now. So as you can see, Argo allows C that needs to update uh, some uh, some pods here. So our new pod, our new deployment will consist with those uh, assimilation tag. It is right uh, right now in preview, and stable is still stable. So if you will go here, stable is st stable. It doesn't affect by deployments at all. Preview, yeah, we have new uh, track. By the way, this is like site of uh, my younger brother who is a musician, and those one is like actual his tracks. So we are like testing how deployment a uh, musical site <laughs> in the near future. Uh, so as you can see, it's like actually running some uh, pod. Uh, inside of Blue Green, I'm saying that I actually need only one replica pod. But uh, it's neat because uh, during big scale deployments, when you have like no 100 bots running in production, then you are like running blue green, meaning you will have uh, 200 bots. And the uh, visibility of uh, Argo rollouts, you can limit those how many bots you actually need. Uh, this can be integrated with uh, some uh, scaling abilities, just worth to mention, but I will not show you right now how it works. Uh, let's go on into. Kubernetes itself, and let's check analytics run. So this is the analytics run. Based on these templates, Argo was able to create, sorry, uh, Argo was able to create analytics run. And you can see it's actually running it right now. Uh, what is running right now? It's running some benchmarks. And we, if we will check those benchmarks, we can see, yeah, this spot has been started. We can actually see this pod running inside of our Argo UI. Uh, one moment. This one, or this one, or this one. Uh, yep, uh, this one. So, log. This uh, is like worker, it's creating some reports. And as you can see, error rate is zero, meaning it passed. We can move on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so it's still in running. Uh, if you will check how it looks like. So we are like running some benchmarks. We are checking uh, error rate and latency. If you will go into Kubernetes, uh, into Grafana dashboard, we can see, yeah, we are generating a ton of requests and everything is 200, meaning everything is okay. We can actually, again, check those inside of, uh, inside of analytics run. Uh, so this is error rate, this is latency. As you can see here, so dry run. Yeah, that's the thing I was like mentioned previously. Uh, none tracks right now as successful. We have ability to change those, but you know, just to sake of simplicity, I'm like tracking, okay, let's move on with this one. At least we have like some error rate zero, meaning uh, no errors there. And the latency is pretty low, again, we, we are clear here. Uh, so let's wait one more minute. Uh, we actually will generate. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Ask questions. Yeah, a small question from us. Uh, if we are defining the analytic templates, can we pre estimate how long will it take? Yeah, actually, to analyze. Yeah. 
Uh, sorry, uh, this one, this one, this one. I was like planning to say. So we have three templates right now running, and inside of every template, we are saying we will run those three times with interval of five seconds. This one for benchmark. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, for example, for uh, error rate, we will run those again three times with interval of one minute. So it will be around three minutes in total, and it will check uh, this matrix. And same here. So uh, in the end, we should should have <clears throat> uh, we should have nine uh, analytics run, and uh, also we are defining uh, fail limit. So meaning if this one, if benchmark will fail more than one once, more than one times, sorry, uh, it will fail. Uh, it's something you need to just understand. So because for example. Uh, here, I don't know, fail limit uh, intuition will say it's, uh, that it uh, has no sense, but actually it's like defining and comparing those. So if you want to have, even if single error will happen, uh, one is more than zero and it will fail. Uh, so as you can see, first benchmark, second benchmark and third benchmark. Uh, this one is jobs. And because of this is job, you can see those inside of uh, like CLI. The metrics, in the other hand, uh, are running inside of uh, Argo controller. So if it will not appear here, but it still have those check marks here. <laughs> Sorry, one moment. Yep, uh, nine runs has been successfully. Uh, and again, uh, what is happening right now? I have auto promotion enabled, uh, auto promotion disabled, sorry. Uh, it's set to false. Uh, meaning after everything has been completed, uh, every uh, analytics run has been completed, it stopped. And uh, if you will go uh, here, as you can see, prod, like prod has not been affected. This one is still working and it's just waiting uh, for our decision. Is it okay to cut off or not? I will say that it is okay. In Argo uh, UI, you will see that it is uh, paused. And we will go and say resume. And right now, those magic will happen, though Argo will switch labels inside of uh, services. And it will uh, create those new replicas inside of preview, delete replicas inside of stable, and then switch those. Uh, so we will wait a few more seconds to those pods to be ready. As you can see here, yep. Meaning, uh, active stable, active stable, analysis system complete. Yep, and it should be, yep, updated. So not a single error here. Everything has been applied, and uh, as you can see, uh, you have like ability to check how it's working. <clears throat> but uh, that's all. I, I actually, uh, right now it should yeah run another analytics run, because post analytic run they call it, and this analytics run will just run run some health check. This one and it will just run some uh, CURL. So you have ability to control uh, what is happening before the deployment. And for example, you're like sending all of your production traffic into application uh, and uh, have some analytics run still here. And if something wrong uh, here, so I don't know, uh, it's too much traffic for application or so, you have ability to reload those. It will fail and uh, will be restarted to previous version. I will show it like we check positive place. Let's check. Negative case. Uh, so uh, a few words here. Uh, so I want to deploy new image. I want to change those analytics templates. This is the catch. If I will try to change those analytics templates directly, like change those manifest and redeploy those one, Argo rollout will uh, say, okay, it's a uh, new run. Uh, it's uh, like I don't have ability to roll back to those previous versions. And if I will change those, uh, 
actual uh, run will not uh, include any analytics template at all. Uh, to avoid those situations, uh, uh, Argo team created uh, some parameters. So I uh, have ability to set to send some parameters uh, to template itself. For example, I want to change this parameter, <clears throat> and uh, it will set that our domain uh, from Helm will be head here, and uh, here we are like <clears throat> adding some parameter. Uh, this one will be a pass inside of our application. I hope this makes some sense for you. Uh, so just to be clear, for example, uh, this one, sorry. Uh, what I'm talking right now uh, about, we have template and inside of those template, when everything is uh, has been uh, rendered, we have ability to send some arguments. These arguments defined here, and those arguments are actual paths in this case. If I will uh, bake those paths inside of uh, analytics template, Argo will not run those analytics template in first run. It will just run in second run. So that's the catch. Uh, I will change some paths for, I don't know, let's see, it'd be like 404, meaning uh, when we uh, will run our benchmark, everything else, it will it should fail because it will generate uh, 404, tracking those as errors, and the uh, deployment should be uh, like stopped. Let's try. So I'm um, GitOps, here we go. I will sync our application. Actually, I can sync those in UI. Let's sync. I've got Sodo sync. And if you will go and check our load, it's so. Okay, we need to update our application. We need to update to generate uh, new, not generate, uh, to deploy new uh, tech. And uh, yeah, let's just wait for those analytics run to be completed. And like spoiler alert, it will fail because it will uh, run against uh, 404 inside of our application. But this 404 is like simulating some big issues, possible issues with your application. For example, some, I don't know, has some migration has not been done and your application is failing or I don't know, something else. Uh, so let's check. Uh, those run uh, this one, this one, and let's check how it look like right now. While we're waiting, maybe someone has other questions. Are there any best practices to set that flow on uh, auto promotion to true or false? Uh, yep, uh, so it can be different for your different environments. For example, in production, uh, you're willing to have those disabled, but for testing environments, it can be uh, enabled to true. So, yeah. so if everything has been completed, you're like, okay, this is uh, fair enough. It's uh, enough for our testing or uh, environments. But for production, um, we we'll say that, yeah, don't uh, use auto promotion. So. <laughs> you, you you cannot like replace everything with automation. So some some manual interaction should be done just to just to be sure. So I uh, will not take over our jobs yet. Yep. Yeah. Uh yeah, it will not take uh, all of our jobs at least for QA for sure. Uh, as you can see here, our metrics has failed. Why so? Because we are like generating four four. It should be here from soon, I hope. Let's uh, check those templates. So, fail, fail. Let's check what is having failed. Error rate, error rate is more than zero. More than error rate. Uh, message, oh, it's latency. It's not very like 
friendly for for your eyes to check what's happening here. Uh, so Argo reload is saying you that what failed, but uh, to check actually, <laughs> I recommend you to go inside of those analytics run and check by yourself. And as we can see, yeah, this one error rate. This the least one, and it one like uh, one meaning one hundred percent of errors happen here. And I hope hmm. uh, why it's not showing me. Hmm. I guess it will show soon, but not yet. Uh, and if we will check, assimilation is here. It has been shut off uh, previous services, but uh, nothing has been auto deployed. As you can see, the only thing is like buzzing me why it's not uh, like actually showing me those matrix of five, five, uh, four, four. But uh, it's a Grafana, but from Mateos, as you can see here, it was like showing us. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, let's let's move on. Uh, we this have a question. Was... Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, another question from my side. Sorry, is there a possibility to actually integrate auto prom promotion request to some another system? I'm just curious how to integrate it into the progress into the process. For example, if we are talking about SDLC or whatever. Um. Good question. Uh, right now, as Fireware, you can load like mm, no. The short answer is no, but uh, you can add another analytics templates here. For example, for chat ops or whatever, and those analytics template will be like until some webhook that will be waiting for your like approval. And if those approval appears, analytics template will say, "Okay, we are good to go." <coughs> Meaning. Uh, Auto promotion will be always to true, but it will be blocked by your analytics template with your webhook, with which will be waiting for your uh, Slack message, for example. So yeah, so there is no like native way, let's say so, but uh, you can kind of hack it. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, uh, so let's start over. I want. Get it again, uh, as you can see, uh, blue team, uh, pre and post that's the only thing it does. Uh, let's move on through another type of deployments, it will be Henry. And uh, yep, yep, uh, just to. So this was the blue green, where it's more to Canary, and Canary is much more powerful, for my opinion. Uh, again, it has ability to check uh, stable and Canary service, meaning you can limit traffic flow and uh, have those traffic locked for your for yourself, basically. <clears throat> and uh, Canary consists with steps, so you have ability to fine tune those steps. Uh, you can set how much traffic it should have in this step, how much uh, pods it should have, uh, how many uh, so analytics can be run in uh, order. Uh, yeah, just works to mention uh, in blue green, uh, this one, this one. So as you can see, this template is list, but actually this one will be running in parallel inside of all our uh, Analytics run. So we will have one analytic run, which will run all of those templates in parallel, which is not very good. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have benchmark, and in the same time, I have uh, like checking of uh, metrics <coughs> inside of uh, our canary. I have fine tuned those, meaning I want to have like 10% uh, of our pods. It will be actually one pod, uh, and uh, we have. Here we will run our check if application is uh, working or not. This is like a simple check. And uh, yeah, we will send those, uh, we will increase our uh, traffic uh, pods to two, 50%. And then we will run our 
moment. Our benchmarks. Uh, we can refactor those to actually be look like like this. So template. Then we will set uh, pulse and uh, uh, should be like. This one. Uh, you know what? Let me just double check. I'll go out, Canary, and uh, yep. Just want to show how it's those paths is working duration here. That's the correct uh, duration. And so, in other words, if you are grouping that uh, the analysis template, it also runs in parallel, right? Yeah, yeah. Here, it's also running in parallel. Yeah. Uh, and we don't want those. We want so those scenario deployment scenarios we will have right now. <clears throat> uh, and our deployment will look like this one. We will have one pod. Uh, one pod is ready. We will run uh, some basic health check. This is uh, extending of our existing health check from our application. So application has a liveness, readiness, and uh, like checks. But this check is like running outside of our Kubernetes. Meaning it will go through external routes, through our ingress, and check if our application is working like externally. Then we will have uh, our tools running. Then we will run our benchmark. We will wait 60 seconds. For those to be completed uh, after you know, those have been completed, and then we will run our uh, uh, metrics check. So let's try those. I hope everything is just double check. Analytics arc templates, pause analytics arc templates. Yes. Uh, tip, tip. And uh, Let's deploy those. Oh yeah, I forgot to add another new tag. So because I'm changing uh, templates itself, but not uh, but not our loud specs, meaning uh, it will be just like updated. Uh, templates will be updated uh, inside of uh, Argo, but no deployments will took place. To have our deployments, we actually need to change our loads. <clears throat> So as I understand that correctly. As you can see, again, that's the was uh, thing I was talking previously. Because I changed how we deployed. Yeah, because uh, I changed how we deployed, uh, Argo loads uh, has like some kind of panic and it's saying that I don't know what's happening. Uh, everything has been changed. I have no points of rollback. I will send uh, those applications into production direct directly without any analytics one. So you need to be aware of this one. Uh, so let's actually deploy something. Uh, this one, this one. Whatever. Uh, yep, that has been deployed. Let's sync those. Just to check how it's working. Process, processing, processing. Nothing has been degraded. And here we go. It will create one, uh, as you can see here, uh, strategy is scannery. We have seven steps in total. Right now, it's uh, saying that we need to set a uh, weight to 10%. Actual weight is 10%. It's creating new pod. And uh, blue green has been changed to canary. Uh, so this uh, tag is canary right now. And uh, yeah, this is ready. And we will go here. Yep, assimilation is here. And uh, analytics sum will take place. So the first one, uh, as you can see here, right now we will have more than one analytics running in parallel. Uh, and those not templates inside of analytics, those will be different analytics runs. Just because we define those. So. First one is health check. Uh, 
it should be done already. Health check. Yeah, successfully. Uh, there's the actually a response of our application, but our application response, uh, response code is 200, so it is working. And right now it will execute other uh, analytics run. It will run uh, our, our performance test, like load tests. As we can see here. So let's just wait a bit. As you can see, step has been updated. It created two pods right now because we defined those here. Now it's running uh, those uh, load tests. It will run those three times. Uh, every run will be take one minute. Still doesn't understand why Grafana is not showing us those metrics. This one, this one, okay. Strange. Uh, and it is updating. Let's just wait. So, first run has been successful. It's running the second one, and then will be the third one. Again, maybe some questions while I'll be waiting. Oh yeah, uh, about, uh, previously we have auto promote for blue green. Inside of our canary, uh, we don't have those uh, field, let's say so those ability, instead we will have pause and pause without duration mean infinite, uh, indefinitely long pause. That's basically the same as uh, promotion. So without this one, it will go on and switch our traffic. With this one, it will wait for our decision, our final decision, if we will promote or not. Actually, we have the ability to set those paths anywhere, like this one. So it will just wait for me to confirm that, yeah, we can continue. And after this one, we will run those templates. <clears throat> as you can see, it's much more fine-tuned uh, compared to Bluebeam. But is it possible to set the weight of 100? I mean, to switch everything? Yes, yes. You have ability to switch everything. And uh, this one, uh, this switch, will mean not the switching to the application to this one, to the production. Uh, but this will mean uh, have 100 of our pods running. It will be four. For uh, traffic control, it has different options. Uh, I don't include those here because I don't have uh, like Istio, I don't have uh, like external load balancers. Uh, but still, you have ability to set uh, port, uh, like pods count and traffic count, how much of your traffic will be going. So you can, for example, have uh, 10 pods and one only 1% 1 of traffic going here, actual production traffic. So yeah, you have ability to this one to check. And let's check this one one more time. So the third one the running. And if you will go and check. So even if you set weight to 100, it will not switch the traffic to production. In this scenario, yes. Yeah. Why so? Because inside of Canary, I have only those uh, stable service and uh, Canary service. To actual switch traffic, one more thing I will show. I don't know, inside of Nginx, for example, I will need to add another uh, field called traffic routing, and this one will, uh, will shape our traffic, actually send some production traffic into those preview. And here, in this one, uh, when you are doing so, you are have ability, one moment, you have ability to find control, uh, one moment, uh, much, much pause, wait and, Somewhere it was like some field called uh, traffic control. And yeah, it will send some traffic that you're defining. But uh, not in this scope, not in the scope of this application. Uh, so what we are having right now, the third one running, everything is good. I believe application is like having but yeah, uh, a lot of requests, like almost 40,000. 
but it can handle those and can handle those fine. And uh, yeah, just wait a bit longer. Seconds and it should be. Yep. Uh, three and three went, so I was saying that it needs to be. Traffic, health, benchmark, analytics. Okay. So, and right now it's like waiting for my decision. Oh, one moment. Seems I messed something up. It's waiting. Yeah, something. Oh, yeah, uh, duration. Duration. It has. Uh, 60, uh, 60 seconds of duration and right now it's like waiting for those 60 seconds to pass and hopefully only after this one we will have our our analytics run to continue uh, i can speed up those by setting resume but it has been passed by itself and right now we have actually uh, running of our analytics uh, meaning we are escaping some escaping some metrics and here I believe oh yeah, it has some non still has some non functions. Yeah, but it's not for fault of uh, Argo loads, it fault more the, uh, those uh queries and uh, actually Prometheus. So those queries can be tuned. We can set another point of time, just time to speed up those deployments and setting pretty narrow uh, times. And it will run, it will escape those metrics. Let's wait a bit more. Yep, chat. Yeah, I guess I should uh, decrease those times a little bit, but I was trying to reduce the number of uh, none from Prometheus. Just a few seconds left. Yeah, check how it's working. Yeah. So latency, none and none again, not very good. Maybe another questions. So everything has been passed, everything has been marks. Now it's just waiting for my decision. I will check. This is prod. This is our preview. Preview is looking fine. Like for example, our paint team uh, said that everything is good. We can promote those and we will promote. And Argo will switch those applications right now. So it, it will cop out our uh, production one, create new one, and then those traffic will be switched. So yeah, that's basically it, how it's working. 